Hi, my name's Andy Burgess. I'm a product specialist at Aston Martin. And what I'd like to do is take you through the interior of this particular car. So one thing you notice when you get into the Vantage is how different it feels to our family of GT cars. The centre console here is more driver focused. The way the arrangement of the buttons is different and also the centre binnacle here is a little bit more assertive. We have two types of seat you can have in the Vantage. We have the Sports seat and we also have the Sports Plus seat and that includes the Sports Plus wheel. That's what we have actually in this particular car. So you have a slightly more bulbous uh, bolster at the side here and some of the stitching as well down the centre is, is a little bit different. This particular car has air conditioning seats and heated seats and it also has what we call the placed perforation within the seat. You also have the Aston Martin wings and in this particular car are embroidered but you also have the option of having that embossed. And the materials we use in this car are authentic in terms of the way they feel. We have metal paddles, we have metal around the vents here, we have glass inlaid into the switches here and all the leather is from Bridge of Weir, uh, Scottish leather. Lux Mill leather, the finest quality you can buy. Six hides makes up to the interior, all hand stitched and in this particular car we've gone for a coarse stitch in green which matches the exterior. So another little feature of the Vantage as well, even though it's only two seats we have lots and lots of room in here and this is something we did over the previous Vantage. We've sculptured out the door panels here to give you a little bit more elbow room and if you look over your shoulder there's a little shelf through the back here as well. So much more room than we previously had in previous Vantage. So let's take you through the infotainment system. There's four ways basically of connecting with that infotainment system. You can use your voice through a voice uh, connection through the steering wheel here. You can actually use the buttons here on the centre console. So you can have media, radio, telephone or navigation. Or if you don't want to touch those, you can actually use your control panel here using the control wheel or the touchpad. So the ventilation system is situated up on the centre console here. You have the control for the heated seats and also the cooling seats. So we give that one press and you get the three bars come up and as you press it, it reduces the amount of heat till it's off. And the same goes for the cooling seat. Blue lights come up and as we press, it turns off and reduces the air conditioning. In terms of temperature, you've got climate control in here and you can separate that between the passenger and the driver. Your seat adjustment is on the side of the centre console here. You have your base seat adjustment for fore and aft. You have your reclining adjustment and also you have your lumbar support. Lumbar support from the bottom of the back to the centre of the back but also for the side bolsters as well. You can actually squeeze those in depending on the size of your frame. And you'll notice also when you're touching these uh, switches, they're all made from metal. So the window and the mirror operation is done from this door panel here. So you have the window operation here and below that you'll have the boot opener and just above that you'll have the mirror adjustment. You'll have a nice metal switch which you move to the right hand side for the driver's one, then using the joy pad in the centre to adjust your mirror. Then flick the metal switch across to the left, again using the joy pad to adjust the mirror. So if you want to bring the mirrors in and fold them in, you touch that metal switch, hold on to it, and that should bring them in. There we go. And then the reverse for, the, for unfolding them. If it was a roadster we were sitting in, you'd also have your roof release here as well. So your steering wheel, we have an adjuster just here on the steering column. It's electric, so you can go up or down and also fore and aft. There is also an option for a heated steering wheel too. So we also have on the left hand side of the steering wheel the voice control, the suspension button which we went through earlier on and we also have the volume control. On the right hand side of the steering wheel this operates the display on the right hand side of the binnacle here. So if we use the home button then we can scroll through looking at trip, navigation, radio, telephone and service and if you'd like to choose one of those then you'd press the scroll button. If you want to revert back to the home button, you can use the home button or the back button. And we've also got the telephone answering button here and hanging up button as well. So you've also got two cup holders here just in front of the armrest, which actually pulls up. And then in here you have an SD card and then two USB points. So this particular car we're sitting in is an eight speed automatic gearbox. We do have an option for a manual car. 
That is a seven speed dog leg first gearbox, but we also have a nice little feature on that, which is AM shift. And you'll notice next to the gear lever, there's a little button for that. And what that does basically, if you press that, it will seamlessly rev match when you shift down and also when you're shifting up as well. It's the only car in its class where you can actually do a flat shift on the way up the gearbox. So that concludes the overview of the interior of this Aston Martin. The best thing to do is to get down to your dealership, book yourself a test drive, get yourself in the driver's seat or the passenger seat, feel it, touch it and experience this vantage for yourself.